should I? Okay. All right. So another day, wonderful day here in the world with great technology that's making people happy, healthy, and putting smiles on their face. And I'm with Miss Linda Bamber, founder and inventor of our favorite product, Wave Watch. Linda, welcome back. And how are you doing Thank today? You. Thank you. It is exciting to be here. It's a dreary day, lots of clouds or, you know, fog, but it's a day. It's beautiful. Yeah, it <laughs> is. It's beautiful. And that's right. And, um, you know, regardless of the sun and clouds, there's always sunshine in your heart. And you're always out there doing a lot of great things that are making the world a much healthier and happier place. And I am your prototype child here that's using your technology that you know, I in fact, before we started this call, I told you we, we basically have sold out again of the Wave Watch. So we've got to get another order in. And for anybody that's out there, this is it. It's the Wave Watch sound frequency, a thousand frequencies in this beautiful device that run through your left wrist. Uh, we're going to go through a bunch of those today. And Linda wants to talk about inflammation, pain, swelling. Um, and that's certainly always a big factor with a lot of people in this day and age. But being a guy and having personally used this, I've had these now for over a year and I've used them for so many things. And people always say, well, what do you use it for? I'm like, wow. I mean, every week it's something different. You know, at 57, I would say, generally speaking, I'm in pretty good health. But like with anything, um, you know, there's always stuff going sideways here and there. Um, most recently, and we were talking about this just before we went on air, um, I started having tooth pain. There was a tooth that I could feel was having pain. Um, I was like, oh man, don't, don't even go there now, tooth. I've got enough issues. I don't need tooth. But one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite uh, frequencies in here is under pain. And I'm going to just go to it real quick because I just want to show everybody how simple and easy this is. I'm going to go to, if I just hold it down and turn it on, I'm going to go to, um, I'm just going to scroll through here. It's very easy to do. And I go to pain, yeah, which is go. right down there. Boom. And then I'm going to go down here to dental. And I know you probably can't see it because it's backwards. And then boom, dental roots and gums, dental roots and gums. And now there's a frequency and I can turn it up and run it directly into my wrist. And that's all I got to do is just put it on my wrist and wear this watch. And for the sake of the video, I will turn this down. But within 24 hours, that tooth pain was completely gone, completely gone. And so not only am I probably bypassing going to get a root canal done, but you know, when you're getting older, a lot of people, and I get this a lot, are dealing with receding gum lines. Um, you know, you want to keep good dental health. I mean, there's so much science about how good dental health is so important for, um, you know, good heart health and good overall health. And so um, in this dental category, and there's gingivitis, there's all kinds of them. And I run gingivitis and I'll, I tell people, I don't have gingivitis. However, I don't want gingivitis, so I'm just going to run that frequency. There's so many of them under the dental category for mouth, oral hygiene, and all those different things. So before we get into the, the, the uh, inflammation pain, and which I know is a huge category, you know, I always want to go into some subsets of me personally, because I love this device. I get so much great use out of it. Um, and there's certain things that I can address that I really I mean, I will say it's a little bit embarrassing at times, but, you know, to be honest and truthful and the fact that I do deal with, um, we're going to go to the categories now that have to do with men. Um, you know, Riley has talked about some of the stuff for women and past stuff, but um, ED, hair loss, um, penis, prostate, but I'm going to go to prostate and hormones prostate problems. I mean, prostate, there's a lot of frequency codes for prostate. I've been dealing with an enlarged prostate lately, probably over the last, I want to say two to three months, but it seemed like when I came down with the flu about two or three weeks ago, it got a lot more, it got a lot worse. Like I went from going to the bathroom three times, maybe four in a night to like eight to 10. And oh, it was really like, like it was bad. I mean, honestly, it really was. It's just, 
you know, it's just very, it's just, it's, it, it was bad. I mean, honestly it was. And so I've started running the watch for the prostate and, and like the, here's the other thing I like Linda is that when I put this thing on and run it, I usually get at least eight to 10 hours of frequency, right? So it lasts mm-hmm. for a very long period of time. And from some of our previous discussions, you have said that you can run them at night. So now I run them at night also while I'm sleeping and it only takes about 15 or 20 minutes for it to recharge. So very little downtime, lots of uptime. Um, my, my, the prostate thing has really gotten a lot better, a lot better. Um, so with that, you know, that's another one. And, you know, as men, you know, I mean, honestly, we'd rather be almost dead before we talk about some of this stuff, but I did just see some data that talked about enlarged prostate talking about how they're finding that BPA free plastic is releasing stuff in the water. That's not good. And 94 million men right now are running around with enlarged prostate. So there's a lot of guys dealing with this that are probably like me where it's like, Oh my God, I don't really want to talk about this, but you know, as a guy that sells technology products, I get a lot of questions about that, you know, ED um, you know, all these different things that, you know, that are really actually, in my opinion, are a lot worse today than they were 10 or 20 years ago. And we Mm -hmm. can get into why or how, but the water stuff, a lot of the stuff that's being introduced into our food supply, whether it's the packaging, which I'm finding out now is really not good at all, or the chemicals, the preservatives, but what what, what is your feedback on that? Sean, I think I saw something about those plastics too, and I wish I could quote it. I'm not you know, saying I've, I've got it all down right, but it sounded like, even though this was, B, you know, PA, BHA free, that inside a, a plastic bottle, there were these little tiny minute, I mean, very, very minute particles that were shedding yes. off. And it seemed to me like it said 200,000, you know, yes. I'm not saying I, and inside one bottle, you know, one yes. bottle. Yes. So yes. people at the grocery stores, I see them buying you know, bottle after bottle after bottle. And luckily I've never really done that. I've just, you know, filter my own water and carried it around and, you know, something like this. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, how much plastic pieces, particles do we have? And yes, it would make sense that it would bother men's prostates or women's, you know, ovaries or whatever. Yeah, it's basically releasing a compound that when it gets in your system is inflammatory. And that inflammatory process is obviously hitting a lot of things that are in and around the process and getting stuff in and out of your body. So, you know, I'm sure with women, it might have its own effects. But I know with men, um, I I deal a lot with a lot of guys that are asking me, what is the deal with this and how do I get rid of it? And just another thing that this wave watch has done for me. And I could probably go through a dozen or more. I do a lot. We've talked about the weight loss. I do a lot with the weight loss. Um, You've done the tummy tuck ever since you talked about the tummy tuck. Now Riley's using it for that. Um, A lot with the inflammation, a lot with, um, oh man, headaches. When I had that flu, oh my goodness, I was having horrible headaches. So I was running the frequency codes for the headaches. And that was the only thing that could get me to sleep was really just, you know, nullifying that and getting that to the point where the pain level of a migraine was back to where it was tolerable. And I could get back to sleep. So, wow. I mean, I could, we always go through stuff and that's why it's so beautiful. Like, you know, the thing, Linda, that I was also saying before the call is that um, I've had it for a year, but I still find codes and frequencies in there. I'm like, oh, that's a great one. I need to use that one. Oh my God. I didn't realize that it was in there. Cause I, I show it off a lot to people. People say, well, what do you do? Well, we do energy and frequency and, you know, it gets into Tesla and all these different things. Right. But The thing I like about it is just so practical. It's like as simple as wearing a watch. And, you know, if you're in a a room around a lot of people, it doesn't have to be on loud so anybody can even hear it for you to actually be getting the benefit of it. But I am the walking, living testimonial of this product. And, you know, I know the history and the story with your mom and your sister. And, And I was just telling Riley the other day, you have done such a great job um, from a marketing standpoint, like you literally got 
thousands of testimonials on the watch. You've done all the research and you've got all the science and all the studies that show how all this technology works, which is, you know, rather simplistic, but it's still there. And, yeah. you know, it's still important that people can access that and really understand that there really is a science to sound frequency and frequencies in general and how every part of the body and every cell in the body runs and resonates at a frequency. Um, so within my little scope of things that have helped me, the, the the actual broad scope of what this is doing is astronomical. It's affordable. Um, we usually offer a discount um, on the watch when you come in off these videos and save you some money. But it's, it, you know, I mean, if you're looking for a product to start off with and you've got a host of different things that you're dealing with, this is an incredibly great value with so many uses. And um, I'm always so grateful, number one, to have your time. Number two, that I've been able to meet you in person. But number three, that I've been blessed to not only have the watch, but to be able to help other people because we have put together a lot of testimonials. So with that being said, do you want to get into our um, our inflammation, swelling, and, and pain? Because I know that's one of the biggest things people use it for. Sure. Um, this was my favorite frequency, and I actually did combine uh, the frequencies for inflammation, pain, and trauma, because that's what I was understanding is causing most of the medical problems today. So I'll kind of show you how, see if this makes sense to you. So awesome. it's so important that inflammation, pain, and trauma is the very first frequency on the wave watch. It's not an alphabetical order. I just put it front and center because it's so important. And, uh, you know, let me see where I'm at here. Can you see this yet, Sean? There you go. So I see the little, yeah. Yeah. So we've got uh, everybody that can use the Wave Watch. We've got animal testimonies. We have uh, testimonies from children, veterans, and their wives, or vice, you know, uh, everybody can use the Wave Watch. So it is important. And again, to me, the most important frequency is the inflammation, pain, and trauma. And this is what you're going to get if you order it. And, uh, uh, you'll get all of these pieces here. And just one little comment. We have so much fun with this. It does come with its own screen protector, but you have to put it on. So there is a real thin plastic film right here. When you get it, you peel that plastic film on, and then you put the heavier protected cover on. So we've had several questions on that. I didn't know it was going to be so hard. <laughs> Actually, it takes about 15 seconds to do that. And then yep. it comes with a booklet. And now I have included two wristbands. So there's a leather, more traditional leather type, and then a Velcro wristband. So those are uh, all things that come with it. And, um, of course, it is not a... Um, uh, I can't say it's FDA, you know, cleared or anything like that. Our disclaimer is that these are still experimental. Can you believe that, Sean? Sound frequencies, which are from the beginning of time, right? We were spoken really? to existence. You know, right. they're still experimental. So anyway, I have to let people know that. I did have a testimony. Um, somebody was saying he wasn't quite sure uh, if, you know, he thinks he has a testimony. I thought this was so cute. He said he's 75 years old, half crippled by two cysts on my spinal cord. Restless leg problems haunt me almost every night. Some go on for four or five hours. The wave watch has stopped many of them in their tracks. So isn't that interesting? Yes. So, and I think uh, Sean was already showing you this. There's three swipe screens and there's four ways that you can repeat a frequency. You can repeat it for eight minutes. You can repeat it for 24 hours. You can repeat a whole folder all night long. And uh, that's an easy way to uh, set and, uh, you know, manipulate the time that you have to play with it. You can also create three playlists. And I think this little bit of video, it's just a minute. We'll see if you can hear this. Mostly, though, it's to see how to switch the watch. See, and there's inflammation, pain, and trauma. You turn it down.
that just repeats it over and over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love so, it. It's so easy. And that was just a little way to show you our inflammation, pain, and trauma is right there. So um, there's um, a thousand frequencies and each one of those frequencies could have up to 30 frequencies inside it. So it's really a frequency a subset. Set. Yeah. Yeah. So there could be, there's around, you know, 24,000 frequencies on this little watch. So it's, you know, and I say little, and I obviously it is a bigger watch than normal, but it is more of a tool if you think of it that way. And so what I found and what I printed in the booklet, the very first paragraph I printed right here on screen for you, this is what I say. If you do not have a specific concern, start with inflammation, pain, and trauma. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Then the other things I tell people to work with are parasite combo and the yes. detox category followed by emotions. Mm -hmm. So that kind of gets you started. But, you know, why is inflammation, pain and trauma so important? What do you think, Sean? Well, inflammation, pain and trauma is the core of what usually causes other health issues. So if you can knock inflammation and pain and that down, then you're definitely reducing the chances of stuff getting even worse down the road. Isn't that the truth? You know, and I, um, let me see if I can, there we go. Uh, I found this chart from Dr. Jockers. See if I can give him credit there. And this is how inflammation affects our body. Every area of our body. It, you, it couldn't be more clear. So a key word for medical doctors today is inflammation. So inflammation can mess up your brain, it can mess up your lungs, it can mess up your muscles, your bones, your kidneys, your liver, everything in your body can be messed up with inflammation. To me, that just blew me away, it just set it perfectly. Uh, so inflammation is at the root of practically all known chronic health conditions. So that's why I say to start with that one from the very beginning. And some people have had testimonies and relief with just plain inflammation, pain, and trauma. They don't even, mm -hmm. you know, have to go to knee pain, whatever, you know, inflammation, pain, right. and trauma helps their knee. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I don't know that we have to read all this at all. I was just showing you, isn't this important to know it, it, how it really that is. Yeah, that chart is really makes a, a good point of showing you how it interacts with everything in your body, literally. And so what this is doing when it makes a uh, sound, which you can turn down and it will still vibrate. And so it starts to vibrate and one cell under your skin starts to, you know, or under the the, uh, <laughs> the speaker will vibrate and then the next cell will vibrate and the next cell and the next. And it literally zips through your body at 4.3 times the speed of sound. So that's why it can get anywhere in your body. You know, you don't, if you're playing it for kidney stones, you don't have to wear it over your kidney stone. I've had right. 20 testimonies of people that wore it on their wrist. And in 30 minutes, they thought their kidney stones dissolved because they saw flack in their urine, you know? Mm -hmm. And so anything like this, it's going to affect your whole body. Okay. You just don't want to turn the sound off. You have to have the sound on, but it doesn't mean that your ear has to hear it. Your body right. just needs to feel that vibration. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what I put next on here. So, um, oh, 125 million Americans have chronic condition and 61 million have more than one chronic condition. So we're talking about inflation, inflation, inflation. Mm hmm. I said the yeah, wrong and word. You know, I said inflation. Yeah, you know, I was trying to say inflammation. Inflammation. Sorry about I that. love that. <laughs> I love Sorry. that. But you know what's interesting is that inflammation really does affect quality of life. Like, mm -hmm. you know, inflammation itself might not keep you in bed, but I've talked to so many people over the years that really don't want to get out of bed because they've got so much soreness and so much stiffness and so much back pain and all these different things that they've almost gotten accustomed to living that way, but they don't live the way they lived 10 years prior or five years prior when they didn't have it. And yeah. some of the greatest testimonials that I've ever gotten have been from older people in their eighties that would tell me, 
I don't want to get up out of bed. It's like, it's just such a, and it doesn't have to be at that age group, but the ones that really affected me were because it was so dramatic and I never really thought about it, but they just said that getting up and moving and everything is just so, it's so, re- it's so difficult and it's so painful and it's not enjoyable. And then months later, after using technologies like this, they're not just getting out of bed, but they're dancing again and they're walking and they're getting back into an active lifestyle. And a lot of the things that that they, you know, compromised on as far as quality of life are coming back. And now, you know, they want to jump out, but it's just something as simple as inflammation, which, you know, one of the key things then is, is, you know, chronic pain and chronic stiffness and soreness. So it's a simple thing, but like we were talking about earlier, if you don't get after it, it will manifest and get worse and it'll break down parts of the body and it gets into like they were just showing in that thing or in internal organs. There's so much stuff that can get broken down. And, you know, the science of it is just, you know, um, free radicals normally that are bouncing around causing a lot of problems, but, you know, it's something that is in this case, very easy to address and something that has a very profound effect on quality of life. Now, I'm not a very good statistician, so I have to have it written down. And, you know, this bottom paragraph here just kind of slaps you in the face. Three of five people, three out of five people due to chronic implant, die from chronic inflammatory diseases. What's that tell you? See how important this inflammation, pain and trauma idea is, you know? So it's huge for us. Very, very easy to think. And then guess what? They don't even have any tests for chronic inflammation, really. That came right off the internet. There's no test for it. I mean, they they have some, but they they can't tell you you're inflamed until you go in and your heart's messed up. Then they do the test, you know? Mm -hmm. So you ought to just think and know that you have inflammation. Everybody does, you know? So if you'll run that inflammation, Uh, inflammation, pain, and trauma, that's a preventive idea for who knows how many chronic diseases like the chart that I showed you. And that's what the Wave Watch is about a lot is preventive. You know, why wouldn't we do that? But I don't think I knew that three out of five people die from inflammatory problems, you know? And so that's why I put it there front and center. It just kind of slapped me in the face. How how bad a problem it is. So start with that, you know, and share that with other people. Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, they do have some other tools to measure. But again, like I said, it's after you go in and you've already had heart problems, you've already had, you know, diabetes or whatever that they're measuring some more things. They there's no way for them just to just tell you, hey, you know, they have to be using it. And then I guess I did have some ideas in here. Uh, I don't know if we want to go over this, but I use thermography. And so it's just a camera. It's an infrared camera and it sets on a stand. It's a a small camera. So there's no pain or pressure or radiation uh, from that. And I use this for bras thermography. Uh, It's brasthermography.com. And we do have several locations in the U.S. But here's what I wanted to show you. I can show you pictures of inflammation. See, this is some of the tests that they've done. This inflammation in the vein was not detected by other tests, but it shows up as plain as can be with thermography. Isn't that interesting? I love that thermography. It's just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't know how much time we want to take here, but I just thought this was pretty graphic. And then here's some more pictures that we've taken, you know, and so we can see chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. And this is all inflammation. So just a simple description here. It doesn't need, we don't need to be rocket scientists. We're using infrared heat and the white is the hottest. The white is the most inflamed. The red, yellows, and oranges are different temperature patterns. And our, uh, we don't want to be too dark or you know too red necessarily either way. Now our head is going to be you know this color. This is correct. But this dark blue spot right here is not correct. This is on the T2 area, and it's telling us that your immune system is messed up. Mm. All with just one picture. Isn't that interesting? That really is. Mm -hmm. 
And really so we is. can see the heat down here. We can see all of this inflammation. So there isn't anybody that isn't inflamed today. And here's, you know, some more imaging. So I really, you know, uh, there's different places to get uh, thermography done. So if you're interested in seeing, you know, how much inflammation you have in your body, that's a way to check it really easy. That is really, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So um, I think, how, how are we doing time-wise? I'm not sure. I think we're doing good. Yeah. Okay. You know me, Linda, I'll so stay on all day, but I'd say, you know, maybe <laughs> if we do like another 15 minutes or so, is that good? Okay. All right. I'm sorry. We I didn't ask you before we got started. So, yeah, you know, we can have all this kind of inflammation, you know, and some inflammation is good when we have acute inflammation. You know, when you wound yourself, your body is going to have that pain and redness and swelling and, you know, fight off the problem. But then if it keeps sending in those, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> it keeps trying to work with that inflammatory problem and becomes chronic, then you've got all kinds of problems, you know, from toxins like the ones that you mentioned for men's prostate. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we've got overweight, we've got stress, that's where our trauma, you know, the frequency that I told you for trauma, that's to help right. start with stress right away. And their smoking is going to, of course, setting around a lot without exercising. And we have so many diseases from this today. But acute inflammation is good for us. But then look what it does. Here's another list. I already showed you a chart. So we we now have Alzheimer's and Parkinson's tied to inflammation. The list is just endless. So here's what I wanted to get to was more in more pictures. So chronic inflammation can be very slow to build up. You know, it doesn't mean that it it uh, happens overnight. It can slowly build up. And so there isn't probably very many people that don't have some of these symptoms. So, mm -hmm. of course, just like you mentioned, mouth sores, you know, so how much inflammation do we have in our mouths, you know, and then where is it going through the rest of our body, you right. know? So, and it probably doesn't help having mercury fillings and all the other stuff that yes. they've put in over the years that, you know, but yeah. And uh, there's actually a Dr. Stephen Sinatra, uh, who was the uh, Nobel Prize winning cardiologist that said that all cardiovascular disease basically starts with inflammation. And so, you know, that that's another one, because when you got to that statistic, which was really mind blowing, that three out of five people are dying with, you know, inflammation related causes, you know, you start thinking even about cardiovascular health and it's like, yeah. wow, I mean, everything is, is, in, it, you know, that inflammation goes to all parts of the body. So, you know, getting rid of that and using that as even a maintenance one, like you said, even if you're not experiencing a lot of inflammation, pain, swelling, it's still in the body at some level. So addressing it and using it as one of your routine frequencies that you run like every 72 hours or three yeah. times a week, along with all the other ones is still very, very, very important. That's how I figure it. And it's all about trying to prevent and protect yourself instead of waiting until something happens, you know, mm -hmm. and we take supplements like that. Sometimes we're not sure if, you know, what good they're doing, but we know they are doing some good, just like eating correctly, <laughs> you know, or mm -hmm. eating, you know, as toxin free as we can is so important. Um, and then the other two ideas that are tied in is, you know, with the inflammation is the pain. That's as obvious as it can be. And then trauma. So this is a title right out of psychology today. And it's the title trauma, PTSD and chronic low grade inflammation. Imagine that. So all the trauma that we have all the PTSD that we have causes low-grade inflammation, stress. This regulation of stress response system makes PTSD a mind-body condition. So they finally tied. So all of our, you know, we're uh, our our amazing veterans. You know, so many of them have PTSD, and I'm just learning that women veterans have PTSD worse than the males. I didn't necessarily know that. 
And so they definitely, their PTSD is kicking off this chronic low-grade inflammation. And they are having more and more and more troubles and joining that list of the, um, you know, different problems with our body that causes inflammation. Isn't that sad? It really is. I think, you know, the key thing with a lot of this is just awareness, you know, because I think with a lot of what's going on, we just don't know. And then once we do know, and then once we do see that, wow, these are all symptoms that we're all carrying, uh, you know, once we become conscious of it, the main thing is like what you were just getting at is getting into the preventive maintenance mode and getting out in front of it, because there's no question that it's eventually going to break down something somewhere and it's not going to be good. But if you already know ahead of time that just as a general, you know, part of society in this day and age that we're in, that inflammation is ramping up and it's definitely, you know, something that's kind of in all of us, if you can get out in front of it and you can start running those frequencies to reduce it and, you know, put it in check, then you're, you're, you know, you're, you're just avoiding all these problems coming up down the road. So, you know, and obviously you get a lot of calls with people, pain, inflammation, stiffness, swell, uh, swelling. I get a lot of those. I mean, probably, you know, a third of the calls that I get are people that are, you know, saying, how do we, how do we address that? But for anybody that's out there, you know, that's thinking, how do I stay healthy, wealthy, and wise? It's, it's embracing technology that, you know, is addressing things and, and, basically keep mitigating those before they become inflammatory and manifest into some really serious health issues. Mm -hmm. So important. Definitely. Um, I think I have some very important pictures here that I took and this description, this is an 80, I think she was 82 year old lady at the time. And she told me she had PTSD. And you always believe your clients, you know, but I'm going, why? What, what from? And she said it was her great grandchildren. She worried about them ceaselessly, evidently, but whatever the situation was, she knew exactly what was causing her PTSD. Isn't that interesting? It is. And you just, so, you just addressed the mind body part of it in a couple of slides before that. Mm hmm. And so I took images of her. So this was um, the first image that I took. And look at all of this inflammation. Wow. And then we played PTSD and stress relief. And then 30 minutes later, I took the middle picture. And look at how that inflammation changed. And we were playing PTSD. That is amazing. And then the third one, 30 minutes later, so just an hour between picture one and picture two, three, and this is what she looked like. Wow. Now, here's one more that's just as good. This is the side view that she presented. And I had wrapped inflammation, pain, and trauma frequencies in with this. So we were playing PTSD and then inflammation, pain, and trauma. And here's her first picture. Look how red she was. And, mm -hmm. you know, her testimony is just really fabulous. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I put it on this one, but, um, you know, she was feeling all this pressure and headaches and tension and her shoulders were all, you know, tight and that kind of thing. And here's the 30 minutes later. And then the second, you know, at the end of an hour. And all of that was gone by playing PTSD, inflammation, pain, and trauma. Wow. I love the photography because it's just, it really puts it all into perspective, right? It's not, it's not, you can literally physically see how that technology running those sound frequencies, it's literally taken the red and the orange and dampening it down and literally removing it and bringing it back the colors you want, which are the greens and the blues. Yep. And it's a very short period of time. Also, that last slide, that was within an hour. But yes. that is, you know, if you're getting that much help right away, you can imagine what eight or 10 hours of running the watch is going to do. And then, you know, bringing that into your routine and doing it, you know, three, four times a week. I mean, 
and depending on the situation, obviously everyone's different, but if you really are experiencing that, that is astronomically powerful. Well, I think that's it's it on my images. I just thought you would like to see those. I know you uh, are, are such a researcher. I, do. I love uh, those. Can you yeah. go back to a couple of the ones that were previous that were the ones sure. with the... Um... Yeah, right there. That's a great one. See, this just shows exactly where that, you know, myofacial problem is. Myofascial, excuse me. And then... See, these are all specific areas. Yeah, that is that is amazing. So these can images can be used by massage therapists or you yourself to show that something has changed. Now, yeah. I don't have these images here today, but one of my best examples of uh, was a lady who was inflamed kind of like this, I'd say, or maybe over here like this. Um, but she had thyroid problems and we thought it was her thyroid. And remember thyroid is on that list of problems. Yep. And she worked with several different places and got her thyroid functioning better. And then when she came back, all this inflammation was gone. Looks something that like this, really, you know? Yeah. And it was just her thyroid. She got her thyroid working better and her inflammation went away. So that's what we all need to be striving for is making sure these areas are taken care of. And you you, you don't have any today with mouth, teeth and gums, but I can tell you that, you know, when I had that tooth pain, the, the inflammation and the swelling, even in the gums and that, when you pushed on it, it hurt, Right. And when I was done, like 24 hours later, it didn't hurt. And, you know, the funny thing was, is that at one point it was bothering me. And then I remembered, oh, that's right. I ran that all night long. And the next day I was eating and I forgot I even had it. It was literally within 24 hours that it was gone. But, you know, to go back to kind of some of what we're talking about, I run the frequencies now, even though I don't have any tooth pain, I'm still running the roots. Yeah the gums because I want to have better gums. Um, I want them to be fuller, flusher. You know, I'm not waiting for it to get worse. I'm not waiting for gingivitis or any of those other things, which, you know, praise God that I've not had that. And I pray to God that I never do, but you know, a lot of this is prevention and um, you know, to go back to some of the stuff with men and women, the other thing I I've used it a lot for, and I've told you this in previous videos is hair loss. Now, technically, I still have a decent a head of hair, like I do. But in the back, I've noticed that it's getting a little thin. There's like a little patch back there that's getting a little thin. And one of the, and I think it's on both men and women, but I know hair loss is on the men. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the minute that I run those frequency codes for circulation, hair loss, I can literally feel the tingling up in those areas. And so... You know, as we get older, uh, you know, we always want to maintain good health. We want to maintain, look young, feel young. Um, we just did a, I just did a presentation down in Florida where we were talking about, we have a chronological age and a biological age. And I might be 57, but my body might be 47 because I'm detoxing my liver and I'm running kidney frequencies and I'm reducing inflammation. And when they look at the body, it's like, it's in really good shape because we're embracing these technologies. We're getting access to these technologies, but more importantly, we're using them. And um, it's not, you know, obviously people that have health issues are always looking for an answer, but for somebody like myself, I wouldn't consider anything I have to be chronic or, overly serious but you know if you're running around you got to go to the bathroom eight times a night is that going to kill me no is it an absolute like pain it absolutely is and it's certainly something that needs to be dealt with but you know for me again that's probably one of my latest things and i i really you know there's a part of me it's like i don't really want to tell anybody about that but i do feel yeah, like i am well, I, I, you know, I feel like it's, it's, I owe it to the people that are out there that have these issues because I don't, 
I, I can talk about other things with other people, but the stuff that resonates the most with me is the stuff that I'm dealing with personally. And, you know, I can always speak for whatever it is that I'm, you know, dealing with personally, but that for me has really been helpful. Um, well, I want to share and, a couple more things, Sean. Um, yes. Dental problems can cause prostate problems in men. Mm, I've had okay. several medical doctors send people uh, send men to have this imaging done, thermography imaging done to see if they've got a tooth that is affecting their prostate. So certain teeth will drain down into your prostate. Now, also to the point. Where there are eight teeth for women. I know this a little bit more, obviously. Uh, two teeth up and two teeth down on, on women that will drain down to the breast. And I have seen that in yes. imaging. I've seen all of this right here. And then you can yes. see it go all the way down and they've got a breast lump. Well, it's the same thing for men and prostate. So definitely play all of the dental. And then I would also play urinary tract infections, you know, yes. that type of an idea in bladder because it can cause pressure too. And so, yeah. you know, kind of cover the basis that way for prostate, even add to the idea, you know. Yeah. And but, two, two weeks ago when I was wiped out with the flu and I was wiped out, I ran the fever, the flu, um, the headache ones, but I ran all of those. And you know what? It's like, gosh, yes, there's, there's, and the, the thing also that I love is that you've got the, um, this is the package it comes in. It's so well done. It's so professional. It's just, it gives you everything you need, but this would be the frequency Bible book right here. And this book has all the frequencies. And so all the frequencies, and I know it's backwards, you can probably barely see it, but they're all listed under the category in the watch so if you just want to say look i just want to get to her let me just take a look and see what's in here and as soon as i get in here i'm on kidney lungs and lymph and all the detox stuff which is probably something else that we always should be running um it's just everything in this thing it's so user friendly it's so easy to use cost wise you know if you mention the video you're going to save a hundred dollars on the watch it's you know price wise it's very very um affordable. And honestly, it's actually quite cool because I get so many compliments on this and people are like, are you measuring your steps or are you measuring this? It's like, no, I've got actually over a thousand frequencies that I'm running into my body that are maintaining good health. And oh yes, by the way, it does tell time and I can use it as a watch, but there's just so many other benefits. And you know what? I, I, I you know, I know I need to walk more probably, but I, I can figure all that stuff out on my own. Um, but this That's thing is exactly super cool. Everybody looks too. at that. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah. you can count your steps how many days, you know, that's enough of that. Yeah. So exactly. I want to take a still. We need to smile for our video. I always forget to do that, but, um, but yeah, so, and, I mean, go ahead. And don't you have a code too? Like if they, uh, you, USA med bed. Okay. USA so they, med bed. Now. You can order it off Linda's site. We we all have them on our site, but we we sell out of these things constantly. We sell out of them constantly because the value of the product, the number of things you can address. I mean, there's pretty much not anything that you're not going to call us up for and say, hey, what would be one of the best things to use? And it's like, oh, but the thing I love is the way you started it off. Pets, kids. I have a friend of mine. Um, uh, he, he's got a seven-year-old child and the, the, the kid is having issues. I want to say it was macular degeneration or something with the eye. Wow. And I don't know what it was, but we ran a got a watch down to him right away. I said, hey, man, you need to have this for your son. And he needs to start using this technology immediately. Um, and there's a whole section, a whole subsection for kids that you've put in there. And, you know, I mean, in this day and age with all the stuff that we're being introduced to and, you know, we've talked about in the past, you know, you need technology to address technology. I mean, you yeah. need the good technology to address the technology that is not maybe, um, you know, serving us when it comes to overall health. Maybe it's given us a few more luxuries, but. You know, and we're, we were kind of talking about, you know, you're measuring your steps, but you're hooked to the Internet. You're hooked to the yes. 5G towers. You, you've you got that yeah. strapped to your wrist, you know, yeah. and the Wave Watch is not hooked to anything. It's a complete unit by itself. 
And, mm -hmm. you know, you hate to say brands and things, but people wake up. These, this technology on your body is negative. It is so negative. Yeah. And yeah. my favorite example to tell about is an, another older lady that came into my office and she had a um, uh, life alert type product, you know, and mm -hmm. it, you know, it's supposed to hang down around your neck. Well, she was a little cripple. So it, le you know, it hung, you know, over to the side all the time. Mm -hmm. And within about six months, she developed breast cancer exactly under that alert. Mm -hmm. I've had other women that wore their cell phones in there. Oh, bra. And one lady yeah. had three kinds of breast cancer under that cell phone. Yeah. And then another woman put her cell phone in her pocket and had ovarian, a big tumor that had to be yeah. operated on. So I, people I've seen, wake up. yeah, I've seen people wearing them and they literally uh, will show an x-ray and they can literally see the impression of where it is. And that's, that's not, that's, if that's not bad enough, I, I, I know people and I'm not going to mention any names, but people I love and care about who work with me. They've got these things right next to their heads all night. You know, they've got them oh. up by their head. They've got them laying down next to them. And there's something in their DNA that says, I can't be without my phone ever. But I mean, I shut those things down. I put them in another room. Yes. I always tell people that the only good use of a microwave is a place to keep your cell phone at night because it's basically <laughs> a Faraday cage. If you're using it for anything else than that, you're not highly intelligent and you're probably a little bit lazy, which fits into 90% of our population base these days. And I don't mean to be you know, disrespectful, but if you ever do take the 10 minutes to research what that's doing, you probably don't want to do it. Yeah. And I even have an image somewhere of a lady who came in and the um, her um, right hip, uh, lower hip, kind of back on, on the back side was hurting. And so I did imaging of it and it was a cell phone shape on her back yes. leg that was all inflamed. Yes. And she's yes. going, Oh, that's where I carry my cell phone. I don't want to put, you know, I don't, it, that's where I carry my cell phone. She was radiating herself. I mean, at least it wasn't her heart or her breast, but she, it was unbelievable. It's, yeah. So. It's still doing damage to the body. You know, I've seen pictures and you can Google them where it shows your head before and after making a three minute cell phone call and the amount of orange, red, and yellow that permeates into your brain mm -hmm. in just a three minute call, having that thing up against your head is downright terrifying. And then I think about people like me because I, you know, I'm on phones a lot, but every time I'm on a phone, I'm on speaker and I've got the thing at least, you know, a hand distance away because the last thing I want is that thing anywhere near my head. And, you know, for the people out there that just don't know any better or just don't get access to this, I mean, please, in God's name, just try to mitigate or reduce, turn those things off at night. Um, I also, uh, because I'm in the medical industry, I also have access to uh, x-ray vests. So I basically wrap my phone up in leaded x-ray vests and basically keep them because I'm not always going to run down in the kitchen and even wrapped up in an x-ray vest. I know it's keeping me from getting hit with anything, but mm -hmm. there are times where somebody's traveling late at night. I need to make sure they're going to get home and I'll keep a phone on, but it'll be wrapped up in an x-ray vest so that I'm absolutely clear and sure that I'm not getting any radiation from that. And you know, those are things that in the medical industry, obviously you're using them to protect yourself from radiation and there, you can get them on Amazon. They're not expensive, but that would be another thing that I've suggested. And, and a couple of people that work with me, or at least one, and I'm not going to mention her name, but we both love her and she's not here today. I told her, I said, you know what, if you're not going to turn those darn things off and you're going to still have them within arm's distance, wrap them up in those x-ray vests because you know, there's, there's just too much stuff going on, too much crazy stuff. We're not hearing about it all. And I don't know if I really want to, but I will tell you if anybody sat down and said, let's look at the rate of brain cancer and let's look at um, uh, brain aneurysms and let's look at, like you were saying, all these different um, things happening by having exposure. 
it's certainly got to be, you know, to a point where you could see it on a graph probably going in the wrong direction. And we, we know enough that we don't, you know, we know enough where we don't need to know anymore. But isn't there EMF protection on there, too? <laughs> I, I, I was just thinking of that. So we should let people know that in the yes. detox category, <laughs> get it right here, uh, there yes. is an EMF protection and there's a radiation detox. And so yes. I've had several people comment that when they play those, that their anxiety goes away. Can you believe that? Yeah. Just, yeah. you know, it's... Yeah, and for people like me, like I had to travel last week, so I'm in and out of airports and I'm getting hit, you know, it's like, okay, I'm not TSA or whatever. So they're, I'm getting hit with that. And that's the perfect time to say, okay, boom, I just went through that x-ray. Let me get into that radiation detox. The EMF one can always be run, but, oh man, Linda, number one, I love you. Number two, um, yeah, thank you so time, much for everything you do, because honestly, these calls can go on and on and on because there's just so many things that you can branch into. But I think from a uh, from a general use standpoint and a creative aspect standpoint, you know, we can every one of these calls is unique. Every one of these calls, we are able to address different things. But I think that as you watch more and more of these videos, it's very clear that when it comes time to go, you know, Christmas shopping, Hanukkah shopping, buying stuff for loved ones for birthdays, what is it that I should have? My mom needs one. My sister needs one. My, my kids probably could use this for that. Um, you know what? There's just, everybody should technically be using one. And, um, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm just really grateful that we're offering this product to people. The, the documented testimonials are, I mean, they're so, they're in the hundreds and thousands. So, you know, you can find it, but sound healing is as ancient as, you know, the sound bowl healing, which I've done before, and I've always thought, God, that's kind of weird. And they were doing it. And then all of a sudden you get hit with that sound wave frequency. It's like, oh my oh, God. And you feel yes. it go through your whole body. And it's like, this is so intense and so powerful. And those sound bowls, you know, each one has a frequency. So, you know, when you do sound bowl healing, you might have 10 or 12 sound bowls and each one's for something different. A thousand frequencies on your watch using technology that's being brought in the modern age that's utilizing and building on ancient technology that is absolutely mind blowing. So with that being said, I'm gonna leave it to you if you wanna sign off and say anything and then we'll go ahead and shut it down and we'll catch up again in the next week or two. I couldn't have said it any better. Maybe one little idea, that's where they're concerned and they're bringing up some information about how all the bells were taken off of churches and the bells had their own unique sound, just like a healing bowl. Mm -hmm. So we probably used to have a lot more healing in our churches. Yeah, very interesting. And actually the acoustics in the churches also mm -hmm. with the yeah. organs and everything else would amplify that sound frequency. Yeah. So a lot to be said there. God, I love this because these conversations can go off into so many different directions <laughs> and they're all fun and interesting. Well, Linda, thank you once again for taking the time. Uh, for anybody that's out there, you're going to have the code on here to order. Um, we'll put a link on here to order. And if you have any testimonials, if you've gotten one of these and you want to share something, please contact us. Yes, um, we, we would love, love to us. share your story because... You know, um, understanding the technology is great, but seeing, you know, firsthand people utilizing the technology and getting benefit from it um, is always, you know, one of the best ways to, you know, to show other people that there is hope and there are ways for them to, you know, reduce inflammation, reduce pain and all these different things. So, Linda, thank you so much. Hang with me. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down, but I'll all stay right. on the phone with you here for just a minute. We'll finish up. Okay. Hey.